I've been in the industry for almost 20 years. Before I joined PR, I was doing a bit of journalism, so I naturally thought it's a bridge between journalism and also a, a, a corporate. But what I really liked about it is, is that it kind of, as a public relations professional, you really are a bridge between a company and many publics. So it's not just the media, it's government, media, consumers as well. And so helping, helping companies translate a, a, a communication strategy to a different public is really, really really appealing for me then and it's also very appealing now. Just now I think we have a lot more tools to deal with and it's, more, it's kind of more exciting now than before I think. If you're looking at PR even five years ago, a lot of it was media relations only, a lot of events, those kind of things, media pitching to, to journalists. Now I think there's a whole gamut of stuff, right? And I think it's very integrated right now. So you have the earned media side, you have social media side, you have this rising, um, rising importance of influence. So we have influence in marketing. We create a lot of content now. We have production studios. And you know, five years ago, we didn't have all that stuff. And now in China, it's really exciting where we're doing e-commerce for clients as well. So driving mobile commerce through WeChat, through Weibo. I think this is a really exciting place to be right now. And you might do a live PR event with, with, uh, with influencers and actually drive commercial of sales to an online store. We don't really position ourselves as a PR firm anymore. We position ourselves as a, as a communication agency. And I see young, when young grads come into the organization, they see the work we do in the industry. So we have uh, a lot of effort to build up our profile in the industry. They see the work we do, they see the awards we win. So they're already kind of attracted. And we have a really strong program with um, interns. So we hire like 30 or 40 interns every year. So they've worked with us for a long time. They know what we do and they come into the industry. And so usually when they come in now, they specialize. Whereas in the old days, they were kind of all-rounders. Now they might specialize in social and even a certain element of social media. They might specialize in social CRM, whereas before everyone would be doing the same thing. So it's becoming much more specialized in PR as well. We have a lot of programs for our younger people. We send them abroad, like young Chinese want to go abroad. We send them to offices all around the world just to, to work for a week or two. They love that. When they're traveling for their own leisure, they can go and, and work in an office or visit the office there. We pay for that. And we have flexible working hours as well. So we try and create a really strong uh, culture of great work for our clients and passion and creativity and openness. The onus is on all, you know, whether it's in-house or whether it's agency people, right? To build a stronger profile in the universities and with the next generation of talent. And the way you do that is by engaging on campus, right? You go and talk about the work to them. They, they can see what we do, right? The difference we make. And I guess it's all about driving business because what is happening globally and in China as well is the role of the CMO or the CCO is really a business driving role. So they have to understand that to be to be valuable going forward, you must be driving a business, business result. So another area where, where we're doing a lot of work in is making sure that our people really understand the client's business. When you understand the client's business, you can create more value. It's a really broad array of of skills that are needed right now and I think it's a great time to enter into PR because it's super exciting.